So do you believe that there's only one creator? You don't believe that he has sons or roommates or brothers or sisters or fathers, right? One, one truth, one that created you and me and the whole universe, right? So that's the first part of the belief you already have it. Do you believe he sent messengers as guides, right? Like Jesus and Moses and Abraham? I said, okay, so let's talk about it, right? Let's say you you make a, a medical device or a computer or a new device, right? Let's say you, you, you design it, you manufacture it, right? And it's like super complicated, it's a really expensive device and you want to sell it, right? When you take it to market, you're not just going to tell people, here, take it and do whatever you want with it, right? Because they don't know how to use it. Like if you get a new phone, it comes with a little manual, right? If you go and buy like a big, uh, corporate industrial size machine that manufacturer is going to send you with, with the user manual you know and what's called IFU you know instructions for use and with it it's, they're going to send trainers to come out and tell you how to use this machine correctly right that makes sense right so our creator you know God created us right and we are more valuable we're more complicated than any machine right more than an iPhone more than all of that right so God's not going to send us and then leave us with no instructions, right? So Allah, like we say Allah, because this is, means the only creator, the only one worthy of worship. It's, it's, a, it's a clear term. Like if you say God, it could mean a man, right? Because if a female would be a goddess, right? You're giving gender. Like we believe God is not a man or a woman. He's the creator of all of them, right? So Allah, when He created us, He sent us in this world. He didn't just leave us, right? He sent us instructions. And those we believe that those were prophets, right? And that's why all the religions they believe in Abraham and Moses and all the earlier prophets, right? Jews and Christians they also believe in that. And we as Muslims believe in that. They were people sent to guide mankind how to use it properly, like a trainer would go out with machines, right? And then there were messages sent, like the user manual would be sent out, right? So there is the, the Old Testament, which was the Torah, then there is the New Testament, which is the Injil, and then there is the uh, Psalms of David, which is the Nabur. But as you know, the Bible got corrupted, it got changed, right? Like like people like King James and others who started to mess with the Bible. The Quran has been unaltered, unchanged, one Quran. Like if you go to Catholic, they have a different Bible. You go to those Mormons over there, they have a different Bible. But the Quran, we only have one Quran. The same creator that sent the earlier messages sent the Quran. The only difference the Quran is the last of them. And it's the only one that we still have today fully intact in its original version. Right? So those messengers, we as Muslims believe in them. Right? So you what do you think? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. So do you believe in those messengers? Alright, good. <laughs> good. Because it makes sense, right? Yeah. Alright. Then each messenger came with a with scripture, right? Like you read the Bible, right? Yeah. yeah. So so you see like like I have a Bible here, right? So now if you look at the Bible today, you will find a lot of clear contradictions. Like here, you will see Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem, right? So Isaiah was how old? 22, there you go. And then in the same Bible, Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. How old was he here? See? So you know why? <laughs> yeah. Because people like you will see here King James, right? So people like King James, they came in, see, King James version. Yeah. This human and King James Googled him. He was yeah. not a good yeah. guy, right? <laughs> he had. He was called the Queen of England. Like, too friendly with animals, right? So he came and he changed, and people before him, like St. Paul and Pope Damasus, they updated, changed, revised. So in their altering the Bible, they made these kind of mistakes. So today you see that this gets corrupted. But if you take the Quran, you read the whole Quran, you will never find a contradiction like that. Because Allah preserved it. How? Muslims, we memorize the whole Quran, right? In Ramadan, that just passed, we recite, the, we go, go on Google, I did it last year. Really? Cool. Yeah. Next year you're doing it as a Muslim. Right? So these are the scriptures. We believe in all of them. We believe the earlier ones have been corrupted and the Quran has been preserved. Yeah. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Good. So this is it. You have the belief of a Muslim. Now you just have to do the testimony. Right? The testimony is easy. You say, 
I bear witness. I'm just going to say it first. You can write it. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. Right? And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger and slave of Allah. Like, we don't worship Muhammad. He's the messenger. Right? Because it doesn't make sense. Like, humans you should worship a human. That doesn't make sense. Humans can be get angry, they sleep, they get tired. God doesn't sleep, he doesn't get tired. He's always watching over us, he's always close to us with his knowledge and sight, right? So, we believe in this. If you make the testimony, we should already have the belief. You're already Muslim in your heart, right? So there you go. So now if you make the testimony, you're a Muslim. That's it. And then, I mean, you know, there's a lot to learn, obviously. Slowly, slowly you will learn. And then we'll, we'll keep up with you and you know, we'll, as a community, we have a lot of sisters out there you can become friends with and then they'll teach you more. But uh, if you're ready, do you have any questions? Uh, no. Um, All right. When, um, when is like the next event? Or... We have them all the time. So every weekend we have classes, every Friday we have the prayer, uh, we have events at colleges and stuff. We'll be, we'll be a part of the community, you'll find out all the events, don't worry. Alright, so we'll do the testimony. I'll say it, we repeat it after. Alright? You good? You ready? Alright, You already have the belief, right? So what does it matter? Alright, uh, I'll say it in English first, you just repeat it after me, and then I'll say it in Arabic, and you can repeat it after me. It's alright, I'll, I'll take it small bits by bits. Alright? Alright, say, I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. And I bear witness that the, that the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet and slave of Allah. Perfect. Excellent. I'm going to do it in Arabic. I'm going to do it real slow. So don't worry. Just follow up after me. All right? Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Al. La. Ilaha. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa. أشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله. Man, I think you know Arabic. That's excellent. All right, that's it. You are a Muslim now. No problem. All right. So take the Quran and any other books that you're interested. Um, if you have an email, I can give it to some of the people to keep up with you. Are. I will email them. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, so let me give you a couple. Let's make sure. Uh,